get started, let's first import in our green screen footage. Just import and navigate to wherever you have your file saved on your hard drive. Notice our file size is now saved in our project panel. To allow us to start editing the video, we must drag this video into the timeline. And we can play through our video or scrub through to see the live actor's animation on the monitor panel. Now we wish to have this green screen background removed. To do this, we will create two video files from the green screen footage, a mass sequence, and a video sequence. So let's go to the effects panel and under the folder of the video effects, find the folder for keying. This will have several effects inside, but we are interested in the key effect of green screen key. So let's select our green screen footage from the timeline, which opens up the parameters for that video. To add in the green screen key effect, simply drag that key into the effect controls panel. And you can see the rudimentary green screen was removed, but this video still needs some fine tuning. So let me show you how to enhance your green screen footage. Open up the parameters for your green screen effect on the effects control panel. So the first setting you can see I'm adjusting is threshold, which will affect the light spots that we left over from our green screen background. Usually you want to set this setting to low, since we don't want any light interference from the green screen. Now we want to create a mass sequence in which the entire character will be whited out and that there will be a sharp contrast between the white and the black. To do this, go to the mask only and check that box on. This whites out our character, but you can still see the shadowy contrast around the body. We need to completely wipe those areas out, so let's go to cut off and increase the setting until the contrast disappears. Next, let's set smoothing to high, so the contrast between the whited out character and the blacked out background is clear. Okay, so our mass sequence is complete. Now let's work on the video sequence. As you can see, there are still some artifacts around the edges of our character. Looks like we'll need to further adjust our threshold lower. Sometimes when adjusting the threshold down, we'll need to further adjust our cutoff to make the edges more precise. There is no exact science to this, so we will have to play around with the parameters often to find the exact fix. Just be patient and keep your eyes open and pay attention to the details and you can effectively create a chroma key footage. Alright, now we are ready to export our two videos. The first will be the video sequence. Before we export, we need to open up the settings. Under the settings, go to video, then deactivate your compressor. Press OK, and let's save and export our video sequence. OK, let's export the mask sequence. So back under the effects control, reactivate the mask only option. Then let's export our movie, and to keep things in order, I will name my mask video, Video Key Mask. Then like before, go back to settings, go to video, and make sure your compressor is deactivated, which mine is. And let's render our video. So to create our pop video for iClone is very easy. Simply load in our video sequence into the video sequence slot, Then load in our mask sequence into the mask sequence slot. And we can check the video to see if the background has been removed by checking each video channel. Then we select pop video and we can name and render our pop video. To learn more about the different features for pop video converter, see the tutorial intro to pop video converter for iClone. And now inside of iClone, you can just add in your pop video. Now you have a 3D plane with your character's pop video on it, and you have a complete transparent background live actor that you can immerse into any 3D virtual worlds.